first season is set to begin, and we're thrilled to bring you all the live action right here. Freaks checked in for JaVale McGee. Jabari Parker comes in for Greg Monroe. And it's Mayo in for Chris Middleton. And the 76ers also making a change. Noel's checked in, so on the floor for Philadelphia. We've got Okafor. Young is out there with Tony Roten. Then it's Robert Covington, and it's Noel in a power forward. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. Carter Williams kicks to Freak. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Now a bit of a tragic note for Freak. He'll be playing this season after the loss of a longtime friend over the summer break. Yeah, that's hard to, uh, to hear, and it's certainly going to be difficult for him to work through that. Going to be on his mind all year. It's never easy to go on about business as usual when you have that kind of heartache and um, loss. A good-looking shot from the wing. 149 left in the first quarter. They double him with Freak. The dish to Roten. Puts up a three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Here's Freak. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. Young pass to Roten. It's good from long range. Roten's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the 76ers. The Bucs have gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. 14 feet away, and again it will fall. That's good, good there from Freak. Freak's got six points. Philadelphia has gone 3 of 5 from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Now, here's Roten. Carter Williams covering. Steps back and fires. Here's Okafor. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. Miles Plumley's checked in for Milwaukee. Bayless comes in for Michael Carter Williams. Then for the 76ers, Jeremy Grant comes in for Robert Covington. And Kendall Marshall subbed in for Tony Rote. Freak goes to the fadeaway and hands it. Match up. Eight points Match up. for him. They're leaning on that mid range shot right now. That's six of their last 10 points from that area. And it's working as long as the defense gives you space. Hey, let it fly. The 76ers have shot two free throws and they're one of two so far. And the first one at the line is good. Embiid, he's checked in for Okafor. All free throws good from Noel. Bucks have gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's Freak. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Impressive, really, from that short 17 area. They are not missing many. You're exactly right. I mean, they've banged home eight of their last 10 points on mid-range jumpers. Marshall dishes to Noel. Grant gets a wide-open look. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Grant's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. One second left. And a good game so far. We sat down with Freak to discuss how he's handling the loss of his close friend. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Freak Plum. Today, group substitution here for Milwaukee. Freak's checked in for Miles Plumley. Parker comes in for Greg Monroe. And Ida DeCumpo's checked in for O.J. Mayo. And it's Carter Williams in for Jared Bayless. Carter Williams is the point with Middleton at the two. The dynamite pair of Anadokounmpo and Parker at forward, and it's Freak in at the center position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the 76ers. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. And also, they've been really active on the defensive end in terms of applying pressure and coming away with steals. Covington shot is off. Good pick, but he, he just couldn't make it count. Yeah, nice job of setting the screen by his teammate there, and I'm sure he appreciated it. There's Freak. 
and the shot is good dropping in off the front of the rim freaks got the lead up to two now for Milwaukee and Marshall kicks to rope picked by Okafor Wrote in the best to Okafor no luck good D by Parker that's a surprise I mean really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. And that one's good. Freak. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Here's Covington, covered by Parker. That drops. Hard to get that one off with the size difference there. That makes it a tough individual matchup for him, especially down low. Well, took on the big guys going in there and challenging them like he did. But boy, that was a nice job. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. And Marshall kicks to Covington. Feeds it to Roten. Shot clock at six. It's deflected. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. No one had more success at the foul line last season than this group of players. Fifth on the list, Freak. The pressure is always there when you're at the foul line. It's you in the basket. You're all alone. But the really good free throw shooters are the ones that can knock them down at a high rate. And this guy is on that list because he was able to block out the distraction and follow his routine. The 76ers making a switch here. Noel's checked in. Okafor with a screen on under the Kumbo. Here's Covington, defended by Middleton. Here's Roten. And the rejection by under the Kumbo. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. There's Freak. From 16 feet away, he cans it. Freak's got 10 points in the quarter. I like the recognition of the mismatch there, immediately making the defense pay. Now, here's Roten, defended by Middleton. Now, here's Roten, stolen by Middleton. And here they go. Oh, and the buzzer beater's good. And that's a 